Hello, I'm the average music over here today with a, another half, well, a half game review, I guess. Preparation for Resident Evil 3, I am going to be doing Claire's campaign. Now, I did Leon's campaign a couple of months back. Um, uh, I, I liked Leon's campaign, I gave an 8. Um, uh, I'll be really clear, I'm not a huge fan of puzzles and I, I'm not a fan of the second half of the game and some pretty weak voice acting. Um, uh, so, now, we play as Claire Redfield, who has this. I mean, I found this revolver, it's pretty old, it's actually broken, you know, but, I know it's got this thing sticking out. Um, uh, so yeah. Um, uh, I've been saying in my past couple of videos I was going to be doing a half review of Claire's campaign because, um, uh, so to basically explain it. Now, what I like about her campaign is I thought the voice acting was much better. Still a bit, like, I mean, it's not the best, but if you compare Claire's campaign to Leon's campaign in terms of voice acting, I think it's much better. And I actually, um, thought Sherry was a nice addition. That Chief Irons guy, he really worked as this... Guy who you just want to see get taken down, then he dies when he has that thing like pop out of his chest because of Birkin. Um, uh, so yeah, so um, uh, that's what I liked. And Claire's loadout, I think, is a lot more fun than Leon's. With Leon, you have the uh, pistol, the handgun, the shotgun, and the flamethrower. And with Claire, and I'm actually going to address this because this is one of my problems with Claire's campaign. She has a revolver. She has the um, pistol that's not um, basically the same as the revolver. No, why am I saying it's the same as a revolver? I, I think uh, I don't. I don't know what those what the pistols called again. But I had like the laser sight. Um, that was pretty fun to use. And the grenade launcher is your get out of jail free card. I was using pistol for zombies and a grenade launcher for um, uh, liquors. And um, uh, yeah, and a submachine gun. Sorry, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the submachine gun, if I'm being honest. And obviously, if you open up saves, you get upgrades, and um, uh, you, the grenade launcher can shoot acid, and one of the saves in the sewers is you can get the uh, revolver to shoot acid. And this is where I explain why this is a half review. Um, so basically, um, I, I, it took me like two hours to leave the police station. I was having so much fun getting chased around by Mr. X, killing zombies and liquors, solving puzzles. I was having so much fun. And I actually got engaged in the story. Um, uh, like, obviously, her look, that's pretty fun. But, um, once I got, after the bit with Sherry, where you have to hide from Chief Irons, after that, I got to the sewers and I realised why I found, because it had been a couple of months since I played Leon's campaign, and I realised, um, uh, again well, remembered um uh, why i thought the second half of leon's campaign wasn't so much fun i can officially say i hate i hate the sewer section in resident evil 2 and that chess puzzle my god so i was looking up walkthroughs and everything everything right like i'm gonna I'm, I'm not gonna harm anyone um uh yeah i was looking at walkthroughs and everything for this, the chess puzzle. And I heard a lot of people had trouble with the chess puzzle as well. So the rook is in that panel that makes the bridge. And then the apparently the knight and the bishop should already be in the panels. And the knight was, but um uh, the bishop wasn't for me. So I find the queen and the king, I find the rook, and I even spend like I'm literally doing everything. Like I'm putting the rook back in the panel to go over the bridge, see what's there. Uh, I, I basically looked everywhere in the sewer, could not find the bishop, and I kept on looking up like, where it was supposed to be, and all it was saying was that it's supposed to still be in the panel. So I'm looking in there, and I'm looking in the storage section just in case. I just could not find it, so I just ended up rage quitting. Um, my problem is, like I said with uh, Claire's uh, loadout, is that it's just way too overpowered. Like with Leon's campaign, it actually felt like a survival horror game. Mainly because I didn't actually use the handgun, I forgot to get it, but in there, the, you get like the USB port um, from the jewellery box, if I remember correctly. Um, uh, and basically, like, after that, and you get like acid rounds for your pistol and a grenade launcher. Like, if you're scared 
of um uh, spell like mr x goes of the way as well so at least he keeps you on your toes when you're in the police station once you get to the sewers and if you're scared of just casual zombies whilst you're armed with a revolver that shoots acid another pistol a submachine gun a grenade launcher and a, the grenade launcher also shoots acid then it's like mm. I, 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 that just if I'm armed with that many weapons, I'm not gonna be scared. Especially those guys who poison you. They just stand at a decent like with Leon, their shotgun was admittedly overpowered, but like, but you had to be close for it. And if you got close to those guys who poison you, you would get grabbed and poisoned. With Claire, just stand at a reasonable range, get your grenade launcher, and boom. Oh my! Uh, it was just too easy. And that chest puzzle. Now, I think some people will be yelling at me, going, "Oh my! Oh the." like about how i should really do the chess puzzle and admittedly like i am not good at video games like, i just do this channel for fun like i'm not a game journalist or anything or a movie review i'm not a proper critic i just do this channel for fun but um uh, it just got really annoying um uh yeah uh, overall i'm gonna give the game overall my experience with it um because honestly with clear i was at a 10 i was having so much fun but um uh I'm gonna be honest. I'm I'm gonna go with I'm torn between an eight and a half and a nine. I'm gonna give this game in general my time with it. I'm gonna give it an eight and a half. Um, uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna give this game in general. And my Resident Evil Three review will be uh pretty late because I'm not getting it as soon as it comes out. Um, uh, I've heard some pretty mixed things about it, so I I'm kind of looking forward to it because I've heard it's more action focused and action games are my type of thing. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. See you next time on the Average Movie Core.